Beauty. Today we are going to show you how to use the air jet dispersion device to disperse soil in preparation to perform a soil hygrometer test. The air jet dispersion device was invented by professors Chu and Davidson at Iowa State University in 1953. The device is an approved option to disperse soil in accordance with the ASTM standard D7928. In, in performing the uh, preparation, we need to weigh out about 50 grams of air dried soil and at that time also take a small sample of the same soil and perform a moisture content on that soil so that you can correct the 50 gram weight in the sedimentation cylinder to the oven dry weight that you're going to use in your calculations when you perform the hydrometer test. We've put 50 grams, about 50 grams of soil in the sedimentation cylinder with 125, milligram, 125 milliliters of distilled water and 125 milliliters of a sodium hexametaphosphate solution that is 40 milligrams per liter of water. This needs to be soaked for at least 16 hours before you perform the test. So oftentimes it's convenient to do that the afternoon before that you're going to do the test and then the sample is ready to disperse. Now that the sample is soaked for the 16 hour period, we can use the air jet to disperse the soil. Um, we will apply a pressure of about 1 psi to uh, before we lower the air jet into the, into the cylinder so that the uh, jets on the bottom do not get plugged with soil particles. We have air coming out, so now we will lower, we will lower the air jet slowly into the cylinder. And the key thing here is to make sure that the rubber stopper is well seated in the top so that we don't lose any water and soil particles during the test. Now we can increase the pressure to 25 psi for a clay soil or 10 psi for a sandy soil. In this case the soil is predominantly clay so we'll use the 25 psi pressure and we will disperse the soil in this manner for five minutes. At the end of five minutes, we will lower the pressure again to about one psi, and we will use the wash bottle with distilled water to make sure that we wash all sort of soil particles off the device as we're withdrawing it, and keep all the soil particles in the jar. The extra water that we're using to disperse the soil, I mean to, to wash the soil off the dispersion device, is not of any consequence because you're going to fill the jar to a thousand milliliters when you get ready to perform the hydrometer test. It is important to make sure that we wash all soil particles off of the jet as we, as we remove it from the jar. And now we can turn the pressure off, remove the device from the jar, fill the jar to the thousand milliliter mark, shake for 60 seconds, set the jar back down on the table and we can start the hydrometer test.